Our reporter Fundi Swam Flegude has more for us. We are at uh, the Lusikisiki police station here in the Eastern Cape where Police Minister General Pekitele is having a community engagement session. He is inside the tent as we speak where he is listening to the complaints of the community regarding uh, femicide as well as uh, gender-based violence. We have heard a lot of people uh, raising a litany of concerns uh, about uh, lack of police visibility and lack of rather poor police visibility in rural areas as well as lack of resources saying that they call police and the police take uh, more than a day to come to address uh, that uh, complaint but I have a very a concerned uh, community member with me Ululama Mafuduga who says that uh, uh, she lost a community member in a very uh, mysterious way but she is here with me right now to talk to us. Uh, Lulama, thank you very much for your time. What happened? On, on, on the 24th of March, I was called by a lady called Magdalene reporting about the death of Uwombisa Nana Mafutuka, who is my niece. I failed to understand the way she reported because she told me that Wombisa died because she vomited blood, taken to hospital, resuscitated and taken back to the room. My question was, why vomited blood not admitted for medical investigation? She said to me it was so unfortunate and it's the only thing she can tell me. Tell me. I asked her, why didn't you call us as a family? Why didn't you at least lodge in the hospital so that she can be taken care of? I think the bleeding is what caused the death. And she said she didn't know a thing. I must call her tomorrow, the following day, which is the 25th of March. I called her in the morning. Still, she was saying the same thing that Ombisa is dead. I asked, is it possible for me to come to Deben so I can I identify the body? She said, no, it's going to take a couple of days, of which a couple of days, I don't know what really means. I stayed in the house for the day. I stayed waiting for the call from the police and the manager who is in Deben, but I didn't receive any call. Until late, I had to call her again and ask if is it possible for you to give me the number of the police investigating officer so that I can talk to him. Later stage he gave me the number when I called the number, the police guy said it's not the number that was given to him by the lady. It's a wrong number. I said, no, they're using the same number with me. Fine. I asked him, can I come to Deben now as much as it was already late and it was raining. But I felt like if I go to Deben, I would see if ever there's anything wrong with my daughter. When I arrived in Deben, I, we called the police. We asked to come to Deben at that moment by 10 we drove by 12 we drove to Durban we arrived at 4 in the morning when we f tried to call the police the police didn't pick up our calls when we tried to leave a message thinking that he's going to come back to us he never came back to us there was nothing there was no report there was nothing we stayed there until 5 we look for MSC offices when we arrived in the offices we were told that we are not allowed to get inside we had to force, fight, and do whatever, stop every car that's getting inside MSC offices until they allow us to go inside. Uh, Lulama, uh, I can see that uh, you and the family as well are very concerned. What is your issue? My issue now is that we managed, after so many battles, to get the body and we buried the body. There is no one who's coming us, who's telling us what happened to Nana. There is no one who's ready to tell us. The lady who identified the body saying he's a family member is no more talking to me. The police investigating officer, when I, after I showed her that the date, the time, and the, ta and, the and, and the report that I got that Wombisa died at nine, it's not the same as the time that they, they were taking, taking the photos for, for, for in the same place. And he never called me again. So you feel failed by the 
police. I feel failed by the police. I feel failed by the management. I feel failed by everybody because as much as I'm trying to dig in and I even try to give them the, the information because there is a guy behind who said he was with home beside the time of the incident. But that guy is transferred to another ship. Why? And uh, the minister is here today. What message would you like to convey to him? Can Mr. Begitele change the police investigator who's doing the, police, the, 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 the case because he's not ready to work with me? He is not doing anything from day one. I was the one who's pulling him, showing him all the signals, all the all the points that no, you haven't go there, you haven't go there. But he's not doing anything about it. Thank you very much. A very concerned and angry community member, Ululama Mafuduka, who says she lost a community member in March, but still today she doesn't know what happened to her. They have opened a case, but still there is no progress in it. Uh, we have seen and heard a lot of other community members who are voicing their concerns and other cases that date back as uh, far as 1998 and they say there's no progress at all. We have also seen uh, other uh, community members inside here telling their stories of how bad uh, they, uh, a service they've been receiving from the police.